Hi, I'm going to show you a real practical tool in Sword Searcher. It's called the Scan Text for Verse References tool. I'll just show you uh, how this works. I'm going to bring up a web browser here. And let's just say I'm reading along on the web and I come across a sermon or a study. And I'm looking through this and I'll use this as an example. You'll see there's lots of text and there are lots of verse references in here. Now, it's a good idea, doesn't matter who the author is, it's a good idea to check people out when they cite a verse reference. Uh, it helps in study, it helps to verify that uh, things are true, uh, but a lot of times it doesn't get done because this is a lot of work to look all of this stuff up. Well, it makes it real easy if you're using Sword Searcher. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of the text. I just pressed Control A in my web browser. And now I'm going to copy it to the clipboard. I'm going to press Control C. Now that is copied all of this text onto the Windows clipboard. You could do this from almost any uh, program on your computer. So I'm going to go back to Sword Searcher and I'm going to click this icon here. It says Scan Text for Verse References. Now this it might sound like you're searching uh, text inside of Sword Searcher. That's not what this is for. Let me show you. I'm going to click this. And since I copied all of that text from the web browser onto the clipboard, I'm going to paste it. Just click this button. And now you can see all of that text is pasted in. I can read through the document here. And then you can see that all of the verse references are now linked for me. They're also highlighted so they really stand out. So this lets you, while you're reading, check up on the guy's references like this. So you just hold your mouse pointer over a string of references like this one and they'll show in the pop-up window like that. And of course if you click them you can load individual verses like this or you can load the whole verse list from what you clicked and that'll show up over in your Sword Searcher, uh, move this out of the way, in a verse list panel in Sword Searcher. I'll go back here. Now we pasted this text in and this is usually how most people use this. It's real practical and useful, but there's something else. I'm going to clear it, and I'm just going to start typing some references. Now, you might do this if you're reading in a printed book, or you're listening to a recorded audio of some kind, and you just need a quick way to type in a bunch of verse references. So as you see, I was typing, and all of this got linked as I typed it. Sword Searcher can understand literally thousands of different kinds of references. You don't have to perfectly match the book names or anything like that. Also, you can see here that it does recognize the old style uh, Roman numerals for chapter numbers. So if you're typing in text from an old book and uh, it's kind of hard maybe in your head to translate from Roman numerals to regular numbers, you could do it here in Sword Searcher. So, that's real easy and then there's one more thing if you've got a bunch of verses referenced in here and you just want to read through them there's this button here load verses into verse list panel and close so if you click this the window goes away and all of those verse references are loaded in a verse list panel so i hope you could see how that's useful it's one of the practical tools in sword searcher that's just supposed to make it easier for you to study the bible and uh, thank you for taking the time to watch